we'll just have a look at the example what's a homogeneous substring now a substring is a continuous string that is of the characters within a string now again for this question i have to go and find for all the substrings which are homogeneous one way is i can go on to all the substrings and meanwhile can figure out if it, one way is i can go on to all the substrings right and for that when i have got the substring then i will go and check if that substring is actually homogeneous or not if yes then i can just simply know that okay that substring is homogeneous so i can just simply add that in my count and i can just good to go so that is one specific way of going on to all the substrings but that would take o of n square into o of n time o of n square for going on to all the substrings and then o of n to check if that is homogeneous or not one way to actually improve is while going on to like as you are going from i to j so you actually go from i to j then i to j then i to j you actually keep on increasing your j right so you keep on pushing the element so if i have a string like a b b let's say a a a b c so at you as you started from this i j so i'm just showing okay that if you are just countering all the if you're encountering all the strings all the substrings then maybe in o of n square how we can do it one way is very brute force that take all the substrings now for every substring just check if that contains all the same characters or not so that is one way other ways i started from this particular i i know that usually when i encounter my for loop i started with i then i try for all the j's forward then what next time what i will I'll do is i start from this i and then i'll try for all the j's forward so why not do one thing i know i'm starting from this particular i so i will just start off with all the j's okay this j okay for sure this is one substring which is a a which is a itself it's actually a good substring okay uh, i to j it's actually again a good substring but it will also say that i am actually it's a is a good substring okay this it's actually again a good substring okay this oh it's not a good substring and for sure uh, after it also will also not be a good substring so i can just break off right here itself so you saw that uh, with this actually in o of n square itself because now i will just try for this particular ij again i will keep on moving which is this is again okay then it will go on to this particular a so that's also okay now it will go to this but it, will, it is not same which is a and a and a and b are not same so i'll just simply break off so from the first ij combination i got three as an answer as you saw one two three right now for the second ij combination i got two as an answer one two and for the third ig a third ig combination i will get a one as an answer so that's so that that's how i can just simply go on in my for loops and with that i can actually get my answer so that was one thing but is it allowed can i do a o of n square no i cannot i have to improve again now as you saw that kind of i was using two pointer kind of thing or maybe i can just say that if i look at what is the need of the question was collecting the same characters let's say if it would have been a b b and c so my main question was this is a specific homogeneous this is a specific homogeneous substring now if i just take this particular substring okay i know that it's a homogeneous substring if i know this is a homogeneous substring which means it's a maximum biggest homogeneous substring so for sure it will have all the substring inside it which will be homogeneous because if it's a, 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 a so everything inside this if i make all these substrings out of this a which means a a a a or let's say i make all the substrings like this a a a a a then a then a a and then a you saw i made all the substrings inside it and how are the number of substrings it's just that it's n into n plus 1 by 2 which is actually nothing but 3 into 4 by 2 it is actually a 6 so you saw that i made six substrings out of this big substring and why i choose only this substring it's a biggest substring of the same characters because i knew that if i choose only the biggest substring of the same characters for sure all the substrings inside it will actually be homogeneous so what i can do is rather that i know that i can just simply go on in my entire string i can 
in keep on encountering okay what is the continuous biggest length of the same characters okay it is a three so this three will contribute as an answer which means this three is the maximum length of continuous substring i found this will contribute with n into n plus one by two which is the number of substrings which is the number of substrings inside a string of length n i can say that i will actually have a six as an answer and you can see with this again i'll just start off with the next pair so again i'll just keep on iterating and seeing the count i just want the count of the same characters okay the count is two so this will contribute in my answer as two into three by two which is actually a three and how three you will see that if i have a bb as a biggest substring so one substring can be b one substring can be a bb and one substring can be a b so these are the three combinations now again i will just go and count because I just need to count the continuous same characters continuous same characters and this count will be a one which will actually in turn give me output as an one so basically these are the additions which I can have in my final output and get the answer cool I hope that you guys got it from the entire intuition from brute force and then just improving that completely and then ultimately going on to the final solution and idea was always same we just have to reduce the number of calls to actually these substring and how we find that we will reduce number of calls we just knew one fact that if all are same so inside that substring all the substrings will also be same so rather rather going on to all the substring i can just go on the bigger substring and find its length and inside it all will be same so i can just infer for this length what is the number of substring inside that length and to just get the length you can just linearly swap on this entire array as you encounter and how you can do it as you encounter this element you know okay the, the you are at i j right you know just or you or you are at i i is character you know that okay right now your character is a and your count is one okay you will increase your i okay i increase my i again my character is same i'll just also have a character let's say c and let's say it is a cts account so character c was actually a now i went on i went on to the next character a again it's same as that of my c so i'll just again increase my count and i'll increase my i now i am at this particular i my character is same okay cool again increase the count increase the i now my character is not same okay cool so firstly just find the answer corresponding to this count which is actually a three add that in your answer which is six now your answer has become six now it is not same so reset this to one back to one i will reset this back to one and also i'll just now say okay now the my new character incoming is b cool these it's same which means okay i'll reset the count back to zero or anything whatsoever you want now this is same so for sure which means b and b is same i just land on to this character i'll just assume that the currently the count is for me is a zero now if any character is same to itself just increase the count by one okay cool i'll go on to the next character again it's same with the b increase the count right now i'll go on to the next character i just move your index one by one, one, by one is it same with the b no it is not so okay no worries just corresponding to this two what should be the answer it should be a three as you can see n n plus one by two which is count in count, count plus one by two again you land onto a, a different character so different character will actually become and this will actually become a one you, and now you will simply keep on repeating and simply keep on adding i just make sure that actually you have a modulo so make sure that you actually do a modulo let's quickly code this up it's gonna be pretty simple so one thing we got to know that we need to actually have our modulo so usually what i do is that one way is you actually do modulo at every step which means if you have n into n plus one by two so n mod the value of mod multiply by n plus one mod the value of mod like divide by two but that is very much difficult which means you are doing a mod and then doing a division so that can actually make issues for you so what you have to do is n into n plus one upon two and then do entire mod so that is one thing uh, which you have to make sure and for sure n and n plus one both will be less than money five so more would not affect it but still divide by two and then do the entire mod so that is one thing which you have to make sure and ultimately um just also have a mod value which is actually uh one nine plus seven one two three four five six seven eight cool now uh, what i will do is i know that uh, my answer will start from zero i know that i'll go on to every of my characters starting from 
0 to s dot length now for this sorry s dot length now i know also one thing that uh, so yeah I know also one thing that I'll just simply keep on iterating on all of my characters. Now I know that uh, my current character uh, or my current count is let's say initially starting from zero. My current character which I am at right now is actually a C which is S of I. Now I know one thing that I am at this character. Now I will just try to go as far as possible with the same character C. So I'll just do one thing that while my I is less than S dot length right and also my s of i is equals to a c so i just know one thing i am initially at i initially at c so my c and i are same count is zero so for sure count will increase by one because both are for sure same for sure same right i'm just saying that initially i am at this i initially i am at this c my count is same my count is same this c and this i my count is actually a zero so I know that both the characters are actually same. So for sure, I will move ahead. I, I will move ahead. My count will for sure increase by one because I got one character for sure. Now I will just compare this C and this S of I. If, if they are same, then again increase the I. That is I actually did. So it's just a simple counting a group of numbers together. Now I just say, okay, uh, it, it, it was same. So simply increase the count and also simply increase your i also now you will see that i is actually being increased here so even if even if only the one character is same still the loop will come inside and then it will actually increase the i and it will actually make sure that your i is increased it will move the i to the next location so here also i is moved move to the next location so please remove this right or if you have if you have that in a for loop then you have to handle here itself which is actually like not required so i know that okay now i have got the count now simply add this count in your what answer but i cannot directly add i have to add for all the substrings inside this particular length of count so i'll just do this but i know i also do have to do a mod so i'll just do a modulus here now okay my model is just done simply return your as you have to return in the end but you have to return answer but also yeah do, just do a mod here itself and that should actually work so okay we did something wrong huh, uh, uh. i just an n s of i equal to c character c s of i and I increase the count count into plus one by two mod the value by nine plus seven one two three four five six seven eight nine l l okay I increase the count l l now it should work okay so the issue was I did a count into but it should have been a count plus oh god that's a that's an issue like which is very hard to find like yeah so with this uh actually cases would pass and that would actually get an answer cool thanks for watching bye bye